saying of the author Iman al Barbahari, rahimahullah, and to have Iman, to have true faith in the qisas, in the retribution, the retaliation, and to have Iman in the retribution, the qisas, on the day of resurrection, between all of the creation, the descendants of Adam, the beasts of prey, the reptiles, even between the tiniest ants, until Allah the Mighty and Majestic brings about retribution between them. For the people of paradise, from the people of the fire. And for the people of the fire, from the people of paradise. And for the people of paradise, from each other. And for the people of the fire, from each other. Shaykh Fawzan, Hafizullah, he said in explanation, it is already preceded that Allah will resurrect the creation on the day of resurrection in order to recompense them, in order for jaza, to give them their, their due re- desert, their due reward, in order to recompense them for their good deeds and their evil deeds with regard to the, the descendants of Adam. For the descendants of Adam, for mankind, the resurrection will be there for jaza, giving out of rewards or punishment for their deeds. And he said, and for qisas, for retribution, retaliation, revenge, to be established with regard to, again, the descendants of Adam and for the animals. So the animals will be resurrected for retribution, retaliation only. Whereas the descendants of Adam will be resurrected for recompensing and retaliation between them. In other words, as for the animals, they'll be raised for one purpose only. Animals will be raised so that any justice can be established between them. Any animal that harmed another animal, justice will be established. Revenge will be taken and that will be the end of them. As for mankind, then they will be raised for that same purpose, for revenge between them, any retaliation is necessary, any wrongdoing that needs to be put right, first purpose. And then secondly, for jaza, for recompense for their good deeds and their bad deeds, for those two purposes for mankind. Sheikh Bazan said, his saying, wal iman bil qisafi yam al qiyamati bayna al khalqi kullihim bani adama wa sibra'i wal bahaim. And to have Iman in the retribution on the day of resurrection between all of the creation, the descendants of Adam and the wild animals, the beasts of prey, and the animals. He said all of them will be raised, Shah Bazan said, all of them will be raised for Al Qasas, retribution between them, retaliation, retribution between them. As for the animals, then when vengeance has been taken from some for others, <coughs> then they will end up being turned to dust. But as for the descendants of Adam, then they will be in two groups. A group will be in paradise, and a group will be in a blazing fire. And they will not die after that, ever. They will remain forever, either in paradise or in the fire. He said, he's saying, حَتَّى لِذَرَّةِ مِنَ الذَّرَّةِ Even to the extent that retaliation will be taken for the tiniest ant from the other tiniest ant. One ant who wronged another ant, harmed it or the like. Even to that extent, justice will be established. Sheikh Razan said, to the extent that Al-Dharra, the tiniest ant, which is a small ant, it will gain vengeance, they will gain vengeance over each other. Because Allah does not consent to dhulm, to oppression, to wrong, to oppression, ever. Allah does not consent to oppression, ever. Because He is the most just and wise of judges. And he is the most just arbitrator. 
So he does not consent to dhulm, to oppression. Even between the animals and the tiny ants, on the day of resurrection, they will be resurrected, then vengeance will be taken for some from others. Vengeance will be taken from some upon others. As for the believers, the mu'minun, as for the believers, then the first matter concerning which retribution will be taken between them on the day of resurrection will be with regard to the shedding of blood from the rights of mankind. And they will take revenge from, upon each other. After they have crossed over the sirat, over the bridge, this is the believers, or with regard to the believers, they will take retribution from each other. After they have crossed over the sirat, over the bridge, over the hellfire, after they have crossed them, and before they enter into paradise, they will be stopped, and retribution will be taken from some in favor of others. And then, when they have been cleansed and purified, permission will be given to them to enter into paradise. Because no one will enter paradise whilst he has any act of oppression due upon him. Because paradise is the abode of those who are good and pure, and no one will enter it except those who are good and pure, those who have no reckoning left upon them nor anything owed to anyone else, nor any sins. To the extent that the believer who is sinful will be punished in the fire in accordance with the level of his sin. Or otherwise Allah will pardon him in accordance with his wish and will. In one of those two, he had sins, either that or that, either he will enter the fire to purify from that sin, or Allah will pardon him. In Allah la yaghfiru, in Allah la yaghfiru an yushraka bi, wa yaghfiru ma duna dharika liman yasha. Surah An-Nisa, the fourth surah, ayah 48, with explanation. Allah does not forgive that others be associated along with him. He does not forgive that shirk is committed with him. But he forgives whatever is less than that to whomever he wishes. Shaykh Razan said, if he wishes, in regard to any sins that are less than Shirk, if he wishes, he will forgive him. And if he wishes, he will punish him in accordance with the level of his sins until he has been cleaned and purified from sins. Then he will enter into paradise. So no one will enter into paradise except one who is pure. I be it by recompensing or by punishment. He will not enter paradise till he has been purified from whatever he needs to be purified from. Either it's sins or wrongdoing, oppression against the people, which is recompensed through bizarre retribution. He said, He's saying, حَتَّى يَأْخُذَ اللَّهُ عَزَّ وَجَلَّ لِبَعْضِهِ مِنْ رَعَبْ وَلِأَهْلِ الْجَنَّةِ مِنْ أَهْلِ النَّارِ to the extent that Allah, the mighty and majestic, will take or will bring about retribution between them, for some from others, and for the people of paradise from the people of the fire, and for the people of the fire from the people of paradise. Sheikh Farzan said, so the believer, if he has wronged the disbeliever, then retribution will be taken for the disbeliever from him on the day of resurrection. And the opposite, and vice versa. The disbeliever, if he has wronged a believer, then retribution will be taken for the believer on the day of resurrection. So no one will be just left having acts of oppression left upon him. And to the extent that the believer will be avenged upon the believer. That's where Sheikh Al-Fazan ends the explanation of that point 
That's the explanation of Sheikh Ahmad al Najmi. Then he said, with regard to this point, <coughs> he said that occurs in the hadith that Allah the Mighty and Majestic will call out on the day of resurrection and say, An al Malik, An al Dayyan, that I am the King, I am the one who brings about retribution, and it is not befitting. That anyone from the people of the fire should enter the fire whilst he has anything due from the people of paradise that is due to him. Nor is it befitting for anyone from the people of paradise to enter paradise whilst there is anything, any right due from him or someone from the people of the fire until I take retribution for him. Even if it is for a, a slap, even if it, is, if it is for a single slap, he said. So we said, how will it be? My companions asked the question. How will it be when it is the case that we all come to Allah, the Mighty, Majestic, naked, uncircumcised, and empty-handed? So he said, meaning, how can the retribution be? We will have nothing. He said, bil hasanati wa sayyid, with good deeds and bad deeds. Good deeds and bad deeds. In a footnote they mention that this hadith is reported by Imam Ahmad from a hadith of Jabir ibn Abdullah radiallahu anhu and declared authentic by Shaykh al-Albani rahimahullah. The Shaykh said, so what's important is that they will not enter the paradise or the fire until the rights have been taken from them, from each other. So then when they have been purified and cleansed, then the people of paradise will be entered into paradise and the people of the fire into the fire. And success is granted by Allah.